Hey guys, Joel Seidman here. In today's video, I want to go over a topic that deals with shoulder mechanics and elbow positioning in relation to hand placement or grip width. What I oftentimes see, especially more so in intermediate and advanced lifters, is that they'll allow their hand placement or grip width to determine what their shoulder mechanics are or their uh, scapular positioning, and that should not be the case, okay? Shoulder mechanics, spinal positioning, uh, scapular positioning, it should remain pretty much constant from movement variation to variation, specifically within a uh, certain movement pattern. So, for example, if I'm doing something like a close grip bench press, oftentimes see lifters pretty good about keeping their elbows tucked in, and then as they go wider, they'll allow the grip to start coming out. That should not happen. The grip or the elbows and the shoulders stay in the exact same position the entire time. So. Close grip, medium width, wide grip. Notice nothing changed. I didn't allow the grip to determine what my shoulder mechanics are doing, okay? So another way to think of this is even on something like a, a you know reverse grip bench press or a dumbbell bench press or a normal bench press, you know, we got different grips in there, pronated, supinated, neutral. Neutral or underhand, excuse me, is right here, okay? Neutral is here, overhand is here. What you'll oftentimes see lifters doing, and it's incorrect, is underhand, neutral, overhand. That should not happen. Shoulder mechanics stay the same. The positioning of the scapula stays locked in regardless of what my hands are doing, okay? Whether they're wide, whether they're, uh, whether they're close, whether they're underhand, neutral, or pronated, that does not change. The only thing that changes is the hand placement, okay? If I have good motor control, and good uh, neuromuscular activation of the muscles that surround my shoulder joint and my spine and scapula and all the other factors and uh, features of my motor program should stay the same and should remain constant. So um, that's the topic I wanted to go over here, give these things a try, and I think you'll see that it helps uh, not just with your pressing movements, but also any pulling variations, rows, lat pull downs, pull ups, uh, overhead presses, whatever it may be. So give it a try, all right? Thanks.